Mga posibleng tanong na maaaring lumabas ngayong darating na Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination ang alay ko sa inyo for today. 15. Board exams have questions with rationalization that will cover your foundation of nursing practice. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos once a week. Don't miss it out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, nurses, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Wherever you are right now, whatever time zone you're watching me right now, I just wish you good morning, good afternoon, and good night just in case I don't get to see you. Isang panibagong nursing video nga ang alay ko sa inyo for today because like I said on the intro, we're gonna have 15 sets of uh, board exam type of questions na maaari mo ma-encounter ngayong darating na board exam. And this will cover your foundation of nursing practice. Exciting, hindi ba? Now before I further proceed with this video, I would just like to thank you who's watching right now for supporting me and following me in all my social media accounts. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga tao sa inyo dyan na talaga namang nagsusubscribe at sinishare yung mga videos ko. It means so much to me. I just wish you guys that you keep on doing it because it will really help out those people na hindi pa nakakaalam ng channel ko na meron palang ganitong reviewer uh, slash YouTube video slash discussion sa YouTube about sa nursing. Ngayon, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other nursing um, educational videos that I created on my channel, I have tons of them. Please check that out because that's all for you. I have med surge procedures, I have fundamentals, I have MS, which is I love, and I also have other nursing tests, multiple nursing tests, banking videos, all for you. Use them. Use them for your preparation and use them for learning. All right. Now, I would just like to remind you about the intention why we're doing such videos like this. Bakit nga ba tayo gumagawa ng nursing test banking? The main intention and the main focus of this discussion is for you to have the full grasp of the rationalization. Why? So that in the actual day of the board exam, whenever you encounter such questions, kahit pagbalik-balik tari nyo sitwasyon, yung yung multiple choices, you guys know exactly by heart why is that the right answer. Hence, we're doing nursing test banking. Medyo naglag pa ako doon. Pero yun na nga. Ngayon, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Let me switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, let's begin. Welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng yung foundation of nursing practice. Another entry natin for this week sa ating nursing test banking video. Alam ko nga na nalalapit na yung board exam at marami talaga sa inyo ang naghahanda na at intense na intense na. Alam ko yan. Intense na intense but tensionado na. Pero I just want you to get, uh, to know guys that preparation is the key to success. Hence, we're doing nursing test banking videos. Now, this is another entry natin sa ating PNLE1. You can expect that the following questions will actually gonna cater to some of the concepts in nursing. Nursing in nursing, particularly your infection, asepsis, basic concept of stress and illness. Ngayon, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other nursing test banking videos na kininate ko dito sa aking channel and yung iba ko pang mga nursing test bank, uh, nurse, nursing related videos, I'll be uploading or I'll be putting the links on the description box of the actual playlist. Check that one out because that is all for you. Use it. Maximize it. Okay? Now, before I further proceed, gusto ko lang mag-apologize sa pasensya na for the past two weeks, I wasn't able to upload a video for you guys only because I got so busy and there's Alam mo naman, medyo may, may mga kaganapan sa buhay si uh, ang inyong lolo nyo. Ang inyong lolo nyo. Pero I am back on track. Pasensya na ulit, pero ito na. Babawi ako sa inyo on this video. Handa na ba kayo? Handa na. Ito na talaga. Let me share to you our objectives for today. Now, I will be providing to you and discuss to you board exam type of questions. And then, I'll be providing the rationalization for each board exam type of questions. That is their objectives. 
for today's or every time I do a nursing test banking video. Next, let me give you the instructions. You will be given 15 board exam type of questions. I'll be reading the questions and the choices for you. You have 5 seconds to answer each question. The answer is revealed instantly after each question with rationalization. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Good luck, nurses. Okay, hingang malalim, hingang malalim. Ito na po talaga tayo. Palitan ko lang ng pen para ready ready na. Alright, board exam type of question number one. When the general adaptation syndrome is activated, flight or fight response sets in. Sympathetic nervous system releases norepinephrine while the adrenal, uh, adrenal medulla secretes epinephrine. Which of the following is true with regards to that statement? Tinatanong ka nurses concept ng iyong flight or flight response and concept ng norepinephrine which is secreted by your adrenal medulla. Alin daw dito yung true regarding sa statement ng flight or flight response? A. Uh, pupils will constrict. B. Client will be lethargic. C. Lungs will br uh, bronchodilate. Or D. Gastric motility will increase. Ano bang effect ng sympathetic nervous system? That is the question. Alin ang true regarding sa sympa, uh, uh, para uh, sympathetic nervous system and para sympathetic nervous system? In this question, actually, it, it, it is asking you about what is true about sympathetic nervous system. Naalala mo yung, mamaya, bigay ko sa inyo yung rationale, okay? But I will give you, where? Wait, where's my phone? Eh, nakalimutan ko yung timer ko. Paano yun? Paano naman yun? Oh, ito na nga. Oh, bisat ko lang yung time ko, ha? Handa na ba kayo? Handa na. So, I'll give you five seconds and it starts right now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer to this question? Very good. Letter C. Where's my cursor? Letter C, lungs will bronchodilate. Why? Listeners, says, medyo mahaba ito. To better understand the concept, the auto uh, autonomic nervous system is composed of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. It is called autonomic because it is involuntary uh, involuntary and stimuli, uh, stimuli based. You cannot tell your heart to kindly beat for 60 per minute, nor tell your blood vessels, please constrict, because you need to wear a skirt today and your varicosities are bulging. Sympathetic nervous system is the flight or fight mechanism. When people fight, or run, we tend to stimulate the ANS, autonomic nervous system, and dominate over SNS, sympathetic nervous system. Just imagine a person fighting and running to get the idea on a signs of SNS domination. Imagine a resting and digesting person to get a picture of PNS domination. PNS, you guys, meaning parasympathetic nervous system. A person running or fighting needs to bronchodilate because the oxygen need, uh, oxygen need is increased due to higher demand of the body. Pupils, uh, pupils will dilate to be able to see the enemy clearly. Client will be fully alert to dodge attacks and leap through obstacles uh, during running. The client's gastric motility will decrease because you cannot afford to urinate or defecate during fighting nor running. So simply lang yun. Alala nyo pati nuro to. MS natin or anafi magka-correlate uh, correlate ito sympathetic everything goes up except for your GI and GU parasympathetic everything goes down except for your GI GU meaning sa parasympathetic increase ang GI and GU and kabaliktaran yung sa sympathetic response naalala mo yung, yung concept na para na imagine mo to nasa competition ka ng uh, pagtakbo di ba ang adrenaline rush mo noon talaga namang to the highest level. Naiisip mo bang umihi habang tumatakbo ka o natatai ka ba habang talagang nandun ka sa verge ng kailangan mong ma-finish yung track and you need to win? Di ba hindi naman? Kasi sa mga athletes, so example lang yun ha, sa mga athletes ang gumagana during the competition, sympathetic nervous response, SNS ang gumagana sa kanila. Hence, see ang answer dito for that matter. Okay? So, board exam to have a question number two, which of the following response is not expected to a person whose gas is activated and the fight or flight response sets in. So, is it A, the client will not urinate due to relaxation of the de uh, detrusor muscle. B, the client will be restless and alert. C, client's BP will increase. There will be, uh, there will be vasodilation. 
D. There will be increased glycogenolysis. Pancreas will decrease insulin secretion. So, concept pa rin to ng ating fight or flight response sympathetic nervous system. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is the answer? Letter C. Client's BP will increase. There will be vasodilation. Why? If vasodilation will occur, the BP will not increase but decrease. It is true that blood pressure increases during SNS stimulation due to the fact that we need more blood to circulate during the fight or flight response because the oxygen demand has increased. But this is facilitated by vasoconstriction, not vasodilation. Malino yon? Yes. So vasodilate, uh, BP decrease. Vaso increase, vasoconstriction, that is BP increased. Increase in blood pressure. Okay? So A, B, and D are all correct. The liver will increase glycogenolysis or glycogen store utilization due to a heightened demand for energy. Pancreas will decrease insulin secretion because almost every aspect of digestion that is controlled by parasympathetic nervous system is inhibited when the CNS dominates. Malino yon? Malino. Board exam time for question number three. State in which person's physical, emotional, intellectual, and social development or spiritual functioning is diminished or impaired compared with a previous experience. Definition of terms ito, nurses. Ano dito, sa mga choices na to, ang nag-define sa, binigyan ka ng definition. Alin daw dito? I, I, uh, ano mo siya? Is it A, illness? Is it B, disease? Is it C, health? Is it D, wellness? Ulitin ko ulit, state in which a person's physical, emotional, intellectual, and social development or spiritual functioning is diminished or impaired. Ano ito? Based doon sa choices. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is the answer? Very good. Letter A. Illness nga po. Disease is a proven fact based on a medical theory, standards, diagnosis, and clinical feature. While illness is subjective state of not feeling well based on subjective appraisal, previous experience, peer advice, etc. Etc. Huh? Etc. Hence, the answer is letter A. Nakakarami na ba? Nakakarami na. Medyo mahihirap itong tanong na to. Ah. Mas, mga nasa advanced level of questions. Alright, board exam time for question number four. This is the first stage of illness wherein the person starts to believe that something is wrong. Also known as the transition phase from wellness to illness. Tinatanong ka, nurses, ito yung mga stages of illness mo. Nilagay ko na siya dito. Stage one, symptom experience. Two, assumption of sick row, and so on and so forth. So, base dito, alin daw sa stages of uh, illness ito? Is it A, symptom experience? Is it B, assumption of sick row? Is it C, medical care contact? Or D, dependent patient role? Pamilya ba kayo sa concept ng stages of illness? Ngayon, magiging familiar kayo. Your five seconds starts now. Thumbs up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. Sino mga nakatama dito? Taas ang kamay. Letter A. Symptom experience. Why? A favorite board, uh, board question are stages of illness. When a person starts to believe something is wrong, that person is experiencing signs and symptoms of an illness. The patient will then assume that he is sick. This is called assumption of the sick role where the patient accepts he is ill and try to give up some activities. Since the client only assumes his illness, he will try to ask someone to validate if what he is experiencing is a disease. This is now called a medical care contact seeking advice from other people. The client seeks professional advice for validation, reassurance, clarification, and explanation of the symptoms he is experiencing. Client will then start his dependent patient role of receiving care from the health care providers. The last stage of illness, though, is the recovery stage where the patient gives up uh, gives up the sick role and assumes and pre uh, assumes and previous normal functions. Hence, the answer is letter A. Very good. Okay, five. A body some type of question number five. Yeah. In this stage of illness, the person can uh, accepts or rejects a professional suggestion. So, 
kapatid ito nung tanong ni uh, katanong na number 4 ha so dinefine ko doon so malamang sa alamang makasasagot mo to key term mo dito rejects professional suggestion the person also becomes passive and may ag- uh, regress to an earlier stage is it a symptom experience is it b assumption of sick role is it c medical care contact or d dependent patient pro your five seconds starts now Thumbs up, you guys. What is your answer? Letter D, dependent patient row. Very good. Why? In the dependent patient row stage, client needs professionals for help. They have a choice either to accept or reject the professional's decisions, but patients are usually passive and accepting. Regression tends to occur more in this period. Okay, so saan daw nag occur yung kadalasan yung regression o yung pag, pag-reject ng yung pasyente? Dito sa face na to, dependent patient role. Alright, malino yon. Alright, so malino ba yon? Malina. Proceed na tayo. Body Sam Sapo, question number six. In this stage of illness, naku, stages of illness na naman, the person learns to accept the illness. Acceptance na daw ng illness. Anong stage of illness yon? That is the question. Is it A, symptom experience? Is it B, assumption of sick role? Or C, medical care contact? Or D, dependent patient pro? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good sa mga nakatama. Diyan ako mamamaster mo talaga tong stages of illness dito sa ano video na ito. For today's video. Okay? So, the answer is letter B. Assumption of sick row. Why? Acceptance of illness occurs in the assumption of sick row phase of illness. Acceptance. Assumption of sick row. Malino yon, Malino. Nako na more than half na nga tayo. Tama ba? More than half? Medyo nakakarami na tayo ng mga tanong na kumusta naman ang mga buhay nyo dyan? Kumusta naman ang mga scores nyo? Don't be afraid and don't be scared to put your answers on uh, answers your scores sa baba because pinaghirapan mo yan. Again, the main intention why we're doing this types of videos is for you to have the full grasp of the, uh, the rationalization. Para naman talaga namang handang-handa ka na. Okay? Board exam type of question number seven. In this stage, in this stage, the person tries to find answer for his illness. Trying to find answer for his illness. He wants his illness to be validated. His symptoms explained and the outcome reassured or predicted. Anong stage ng illness ito? Is it a symptom experience? Is it B, assumption of sick role? Is it C, medical care contact? Or D, dependent patient role? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer? Letter C, medical care contact. Why? Now, at this stage, the patient seeks for validation of his symptom experience. He wants to find out if what he feels are normal or not normal. He wants someone to explain why is he feeling these signs and symptoms and wants to know the probable outcome of this experience. Hence, the answer is letter C. Proceed na tayo. Body exam type of question number 8. The following are true with regards to aspect of the sick row except... So, negative question. Alin dito ang hindi totoo, ang false, when you talk about the concept of your sick role? Okay? Is it A, one should be held responsible for his condition? B, one is excused from his societal role? C, one is obliged to get well as soon as possible? Or D, one is obliged to seek a competent help? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. Letter A nga po. One should be held responsible for his condition. Uh, the nurse should not judge the patient and not view the patient as the cause or someone responsible for for his illness. A sick client is excused from his societal roles, obliged to get well as soon as possible, and obliged to seek, uh, to seek competent help. Bisaya ka, girl. Laban. So, nakuha yon. Nakuha. Body some type of question number nine refers to condition that increases vulnerability of individual or group to illness or accident. 
Ano daw to? Definition of term. Is it A, predisposing factor? Is it B, etiology, sasapukin kita? Is it C, risk factor? Or D, modifiable risk? So, bibigyan kita ng clue. Between, ang sagot lang dito, between A, C, or D. Wag mo nang sagutin yung etiology, please. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. Ano yung, ano yung key term mo dito? Increases vulnerability. Ano yung mga tinatanong to lagi sa MS? Sa MS part ito, kapag ka nag, 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 to dito? Nag-discuss, nag-discuss, nag-discuss tayo. Ano yung risk factors? Very good. Letter C. Malino yon. Malinaw. Board exam type of question number 10 refers to the degree of resistance the potential host has against a certain pathogen. Is it A? Anong term dito? Wait lang. Anong key term dito? Degree of resistance. Uh, resistance the potential host has against a certain pathogen. Refers. Definition of term. Is it A. Susceptibility? Is it B. Immunity? Is it C. Virulence? Or D. Etiology? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. Letter A. Susceptibility. Immunity is the uh, absolute resistance to a pathogen considering that person has intact immunity, while susceptibility is the degree of resistance. Degree of resistance means how well would the individual combat the pathogens and repel infection or invasion of these diseases causing organism. A susceptible person is someone who has a very low degree of resistance to combat pathogens. An immune person is someone that can can easily repel specific pathogens. However, uh, remember that even if a person is immune or fully vaccinated, immunity can always be impaired in cases of chemotherapy, HIV, burns, etc. Yung mga autoimmune diseases natin. Sama mo na doon. Malino ba yon? Malino na ko. Last five questions na nga tayo. Make this one count. Body sound type of question number 11. A group of symptoms that sums up or constitute a disease. Key term, group of symptoms that sums up a disease. Is it A, syndrome? Is it B, symptoms? Is it C, signs? Or D, etiology? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. Syndrome nga po. Naka bonus question. Symptoms are individual manifestation of a certain disease. For example, in Tourette's syndrome, patient will manifest ticks. But this alone is not enough to diagnose the patient as other diseases has the same tick manifestation. Syndrome means collection of these symptoms that occurs together to characterize a certain disease. Ticks with coprolalia, echolalia, Palilalia and other movement disorders are characteristics of Tourette syndrome. Malino ba yon? Malino. Board exam type of question number 12. A woman undergoing radiation therapy developed redness and burning of the skin around the breast. Or around the breast. Around the vet. Tama, the breast. This is best classified. Typographical error po. Pasensya na. This is best classified as what type of disease? Redness around the breast. Redness sa skin. Is it A, neoplastic? Is it B, traumatic? Is it C, nosocomial? Is it D, iatrogenic? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good letter, D, iatrogenic. So, i-define natin to. Ano ba yung sabi ng iatrogenic? Review natin. Iatrogenic diseases refers to those that resulted from treatment of a certain disease. Remember, nag-undergo ng radiation therapy. For example, a child frequently exposed to the x-ray machine develops redness and partial thickness burns over the chest area. Neoplastic are malignant diseases caused by proliferation of abnormally growing cells. Traumatic are brought about by injuries like motor vehicular accidents. Nosocomial are infections that acquired inside the hospital. 
um, example is UTI because of catheterization. This is commonly caused by E. coli. Escherichia coli. Hence, the answer is letter D. Very good. Last three questions. Kung hindi naman maganda yung scores mo, kalma ka lang kasi sa actual board, sisiguraduhin ko, in, uh, in God's will, magiging maganda yun. For now, I just want you to take this video and take this time, this opportunity to learn. Aww. That is the intention, okay? Kalma, there is hope. Board exam tough of question number 13. The classification of cancer according to its etiology is best described as, tinatanong ka, classification ng yung cancer. In terms of etiology, the root cause is best described as binigyan kita dito ng six choices. So, mamimili ka, combination, is it nosocomial? Is it the uh, two, idiopathic? Uh, C, neoplastic? Four, traumatic? Five, congenital? C, degenerative? So, mamimili ka, combination nitong mga numbers na to sa A, five, and two. Meaning, congenital and idiopathic. Or B, two and three. Idiopathic or neoplastic? Is it C, 3 and 4, neoplastic and traumatic? Or D, 3 and 5, which is neoplastic or congenital? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. Very good. What is your answer? Letter B. Voila. Why this is the answer? Aside from being neoplastic, cancer is considered as idiopathic. Pag sinabi mong idiopathic, ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Unknown origin. Unknown cause. Malinaw yon. Malinaw. Proceed na tayo. Board exam time for question number 14. Term to describe the reactivation and recurrence of pronoun symptoms of a disease. Definition of term. Alin daw dito? Ang kahulugan niya ay reactivation and recurrence. Nako, alam na alam mo to. Is it A, remission? Is it B, emission? Is it C, exacerbation? Or D, subacute? Your five seconds starts now. Keter mo pronounced. Pinalala. Ano yon? Very good. Exacerbation. Period. Tare, di ba? Miriam Webster na tayo ngayon. Totoo sa board exam, actually, may mga ganitong tanong. Definition of terms lang. O kahit sa ang exam. So, careful, careful. Okay. Last questions na for this video. Board exam type of question number 15. A type of illness characterized by periods of remission and exacerbation. Remission, periods of remission and exacerbation, that is your key term. Is it A, chronic? Is it B, acute? Is it C, subacute? Or D, subchronic? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. Nako, bago ko i-reveal yung tamang sagot dito sa last question natin, gusto lang kitang anyanyahan na please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Kung hindi pa, double share nga po. And para mas maraming makaalam, mas maraming ma makatul makatulong tayo sa mga upcoming test takers natin at sa mga gusto mag-review dyan, i-share nyo na, i-double share nyo na, pamalitan nyo na sa mga friends nyo. Also, I would like to invite you to please follow me in all my social media platforms. Everything is in Neil Gave except for my TikTok account which is Neil Gabe Official. What else? I would also like to invite you to please follow me on my Facebook page. It's Neil Gave Official. The link to all the my social media accounts, my videos is going to be on the description box. Check that out, please. Alright, so reveal na natin to board exam type of question number 15. The answer is letter A. Chronic. A good example is multiple sclerosis that is characterized by periods of remission and exacerbation, and it is a chronic disease. An acute and subacute diseases occurs too short to manifest remissions. Chronic diseases persists longer. Ito yung time period mo ha, longer than six months. That is why remission and exacerbation are observable. Pag sinabi mong acute, less than six months. Less than 6 months ang ano, manifestations ng iyong symptoms. Pag sinabi mong chronic, more than 6 months. According din yan sa NANDA. Kung nagbabasa kayo ng NANDA, nagbubukat kayo ng NANDA, may definition ng chronic and acute.
Okay? So, tapos na nga tayo for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please like, share, double like, double like, do share, double share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung video natin after 7 days. Um, I hope na makakreate ako ng other contents like lectures or something. Pero kung hindi, let's see, let's see. It will be fun though. Marapit na nating ma-achieve ang 15,000 subscribers and maraming 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 salamat po. Grabe pinasasayo niyo ako. Super, super. I have no idea how much you make me happy. Maraming salamat po. Tulungan niyo na nga ako. I-hit na natin tong 50,000 this year. Please. Okay? Help me make that happen. Tulungan niyo na nga ako. Ipabalita sa Radio 7 ang pinakabago, pinaka-fresh at ang pinaka-libreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again next week. Have a good one. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. Now you are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kuta. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me and all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. We are really, we are really, really, you guys growing. So Facebook, mapa Instagram, mapa TikTok. Maraming maraming salamat po sa more than 13,000 subscribers and you guys I I just can't express how much I love you thank you so much and I see you again next week okay have a good one